Hello! Hi and welcome to some more XCOM 2 with me, the Zero. Uh, Alright, let's load back in. Um, so, last time... <laughs> last time I made a small mistake that may or may not have led to us being attacked by a UFO. And two promotions. So, you know, that was good. No one got hurt. Uh, we didn't have to fight the Ale, the Advent, and the aliens uh, on the uh, Avenger defense mission. But all in all, we did pretty well. Those, uh, if you don't know, um, that defense matrix project that gives you those turrets, it makes a big difference. I mean, I have it upgraded to the max, but that's a big difference. That's seriously, wow. Um, I'm quite happy I had those. Uh, in many cases. I mean, it was never necessary, but it would have been a lot harder to do it without them. So we have no supplies left, we, we spent everything, we had so many. And I think we can probably... the UFO is still hunting us, I'm not gonna take the knees west off of that defense matrix right away, I don't know how likely it is that you get two in a row of these missions, but I'm not willing to try. Um, so yeah... In that case, let's go back to the overworld. Let's get back to what we were doing, which is um, gathering a bit of intelligence Setting until Goosense can come sector. back from the, the med bay. There we go. Ooh, targets. Okay, Gerilla Ops. Okay, so... Counters a hidden dark event. Increase intel cost by 100%. Or... Oh my god, hidden faceless alien on each mission. Hidden faceless. That can really screw your day. But... My god, increasing intel cost? I think we're gonna have to go for the one that... Plus an engineer could be really good for us right now. We need more power in order to uh, increase our uh, capacity for comms. Oh, we can't afford to have intel costs increased by 100% because we need to keep expanding. And that's gonna cost us intel and we don't have a lot of intel. We're gonna have to deal with the hidden faceless. And there's a hidden event. We don't even know what the hidden event does, but we do have no way of knowing. So, we're gonna have to do Operation Winter Song in this case. Setting course for Chile. Please don't catch us, UFO. <laughs> we just defeated you. Not twice in a row, please. Okay, so. Alright, alright. Dr. Emma Van Dam. Nice. Okay, so let's clear up this crew. And let's generate a team. It's only difficult. Can I... Mm. Sorry, I wanna... Archon, Elite Lancer, Elite Trooper, Andromedon, Gatekeeper, and Codex. So apart from the Andromedon, not that much robo robotic enemies. Nine. That's a pretty three times three manageable thing. Okay. Okay. There's gonna be a gatekeeper, which is gonna be really annoying to deal with. Right. Okay, so what do we want to bring? Oh these two guys are back on. Okay, we need to train more of our guys. Okay, let's bring Marceline. Marceline's gonna be quite useful. She's got the Soulfire and Void Rift, which are the two really important abilities. I've well, Soulfire everyone gets it, but Void Rift. So far, from what I've seen, the Psy ability that I'm most interested in. So we have Marceline. That's quite good. 
Who else do we want to bring? We can bring MC Gamer Dude. That's two trainees. Then either Eldril or Goo Sense. I think I'm gonna be bringing Goo Sense. Then where is Jacket Panda V2? Wow, my three specialists are already colonels. Wow. Friendly specialists, they get to live long. Okay, in that case, we're going to be bringing Baby J. Then I need... No, I can't afford to bring Corporals right now. So let's bring our top. Let's bring the, the Socrats and the Zero combo. Just because, I mean, I could re-bring Doom World, but we already got... We're already training up Marceline and MC Gamer Dude, so no. That's two people that are kind of lower level, and usually I'm comfortable bringing really one person that's lower level. Two people is gonna have to do, it's only nine enemies, it's just difficult. Uh, we do have to destroy an alien relay, so we're gonna have some a timer going down on us, but yeah, I think we're gonna be okay here. All right. The Zero, put back that freaking, what you call it, spider suit on. There we go. We're going back to basics. Beam pistol, the blue screen. We're not gonna need the blue screen rounds, but the where are they? Where did those armor piercing rounds go? Baby J's got the armor piercing rounds. Baby J, uh, please give give those up for now. For the zero, the zero is gonna be bringing the armor piercing rounds. There we go. That's the zero. Socrats. Um, I think I want to put you back into Warden Armor with the Talon Rounds and... I guess an Incendiary Bomb? Just in case? Yeah, that can be good. In case we're in trouble. Baby J is going to be bringing the medikit and the skulljack for added hacking. Goo sense. Let's give you back that exosuit with the shredder gun. You're going to be bringing us you get double on this one. So let's bring double... F I, I mean, I like the acid bomb, but I think the fire bombs are the best, most balanced one. So double fire bomb and... A gas bomb? Then... MC Gamer Dude can also bring the exosuit. With the rocket launcher is fine, a plasma and I guess an acid bomb. Those are pretty good. Okay. And in which case we have Marceline here. Let's get the plasma rifle, the advanced psi amps, and she can be bringing mimic beacons. And... Dragon rounds?
plasma grenade, I guess, if we need it. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's a good team. This is not a particularly difficult looking mission from what the dark wave decoder, whatever it's called, thing has given us of info. But that can change quickly if they get reinforcement, if, you know, the, the terrain is not good, if we have a bad activation. So we still got some really good people to deal with potentially something bad, but we also got some people to train here. So... The Zero, Socrats, Baby J, Goosets, MC Gamer Dude 123, and Marceline. Let's go on Operation Winter Song. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. What's happening here? A hidden alien communication. Oh. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Small technical difficulties that we are getting right now. There we go. This should be completely resolved now. Okay. Knife City, Mendoza! Oh my god, Mendoza. Hey, Baby J, how are you? <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know, what was it called? Did you guys ever watch the Mysterious Cities of Gold? I think that's what it was, an old cartoon. I watched it when I was a kid, and there's a character in there called Mendoza, which was really a badass. But anyway, Mendoza! Um, let's, let's, let's start Operation Winter Song. There we go, let's jump out. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm pretty good, Baby J. I'm pretty good. Communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Okay. Camouflage de l'escouade amorcé. Okay, eight turns. Okay, any op opportunity for high ground? Nothing right around. Maybe, could we jump on top of this thing? We could. That is totally potentially our high ground advantage right there. But we need to make our way over there. We need to spot the beacon and we need to destroy it. Oh, well, hello there. There's definitely a building in the way, a very large building in the way, it looks like. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, that case, let's start by bringing Marceline forward. <laughs> An emoji pillow. Oh, that sounds awesome, baby Jay. Huh. All right, let's move Marceline up forward. Oh, if she can't see anything. Okay. That's a uh, that's a start. I mean, we could start by void rifting. We could hit two of them. That is definitely a possibility. We could deal with these guys on the first turn. Which would be quite good, to be honest. Let's bring... Socrates... Somewhere to a potentially useful location. Let's see if we can't... Get everyone into position. Oh my. Putting the zero up there, though, that is betting good money that we can kill all of these guys otherwise we are exposed do I want to deal with these guys this turn or do I take a bit of a safer approach and I deal with them next turn hey Jack Notch how are you welcome welcome all right so I think I'm gonna wait one more turn. I'm on the move. 
I'm gonna move everyone into position in case I mess up my placement here. And I don't think I'm gonna put the zero on top there. I mean, it would be awesome, but with them this close, if anything bad happens and then I have to deal with them, I the zero is in such a bad position and so dangerous. Instead, we're gonna put the zero back here. Where we're gonna have great vision of the entire battlefield and we'll be able to deal with these guys. Even if they run away from us, whatever they do, and we're not gonna be as much in danger. Okay, so let's bring Blue Sands over here. Difficulty. This is difficult. Uh, so there's nine enemies. So it's not that hard, to be honest. It's not that much of a hard mission. Okay. So let's um let's get closer to these guys. This spot is a bit dangerous if they move to here. Or if they move like here. So this spot here is pretty safe. Okay, je me dirige vers la cible. Hi. We're just, you know, doing our thing. Having a bit of fun. Socrats and corner cover. Corner cover is like the best thing for ambushes. It's really, really the best thing because it's rather unlikely that the enemy will be able to spot you out of corner Moving cover, like flank you. You should be safe. Move right in the middle, right here. No need to ask twice. Next turn. Next turn, we engage these guys. We crush them, and so be it. Are they gonna move at all? If they don't move, that's even better for us. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna initiate with Marceline. We're gonna initi initiate with the Void Rift. We could tra target these two, but this one's a much beefier target, and this is a guaranteed to hit ability. Actually, we can hit all three. What am I talking about? Sure, we're gonna hit all three. There we go. Marceline is gonna show them the rift. Ah. Hey, guys. And she gets to try to make them go insane. That one missed. Hello, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right, all right. Okay, what shot does the zero have? The zero's got a nice 94% on this beefy Archon. We could go for a 71 for a guaranteed kill, but to be honest, 94, I like the 94, it's almost guaranteed damage, I'm not going to say guaranteed, but it's almost guaranteed damage, and then someone else can kill it. There we go, 10 damage, very nice. He's going to go frenzy. Right. Okay. Baby J, you can flank this guy, or you can use your guaranteed to hit ability on the Archon. That would be nice. What else would we have available to us after that? We still have MC Gamer, dude. Could grenade these two with MC Gamer, dude. Not really, actually. I'm gonna need to reveal someone here, probably gonna reveal Socrates, because Socrates can rehide. Whereas Goose Sense, as soon as Goose Sense is revealed, that's it. So I'm gonna try to keep Goose Sense hidden. So in that case. Start him up with a 96. Let's 
Start with the 96. There we go, Socrats. Nice shot. Okay, now... This is the Lancer. The Lancer is more dangerous than the other one. We have a 38% on this guy, which is not very good, but I think if we just blow him up... ...with MC Gamer Dude... Let's just blow him up. We blow this guy up. This is for you. All right. Bam. Very good. And last but not least, Baby J. Why don't you move right here? Actually, do we really want to move? Moving risk activation. Should be safe. There's no reason to try a should. We can just hail of bullet this guy. 100%. Kill him. Come on, baby J. Yeah, very good. Alright. First encounter dealt with. Big it deal. took us one grenade. And we still have a hidden goose sense. And then we can re hide Socrats. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Let's move over here with goose sense. We are on a timer, we have seven turns left. So we want to make good time advancing forwards here. Okay. So Kratz can rehide. In la sombra. And we can forward nothing here and up to here well there we go oh my 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 that is not an easy pod <laughs> wow okay that is pretty much the opposite of an easy pod if I've ever seen one um, Baby J, what's what sort of goodies could Access we get if we system. hack this thing? Let's just check it out. We have six turns left, so we're doing good. I mean, a hundred percent. It just soldier vision increase. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth the action, really. Like, if it had been a permanent stat increase or something for the strategic map that we would gain... Hey, I'm on TV! Um, then maybe, but... Vision increase? I already got my vision increase right there! These guys are spotting everything for us, and we're doing fine with it. In that case... Let's move Baby J... up here. On it. Uh -huh. Let's move. Let's let's try. Since we're a lot further away now, let's try that elevation trick with the zero. We're gonna move to right here. <laughs> it's a bit of a precarious position, and we're gonna reload. Because we're probably going to want to open up with a kill zone next turn. And we're not going to overwatch, we're going to hunker down. Shut I don't want to activate these guys, even if activating on their turn is a good thing. Not right now. Right now, that is a bit too close for comfort. But over here should be safe. Moving out. So these guys, we're going to want to activate a little bit more strongly. We're going to want to activate these guys uh, pretty harsh, like with a big bang. I can bring Marceline okay, right here. And yeah, she can overwatch. Uh, Goose Sense. I mean, Goose Sense can get even closer if we have to. 
Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. To plug myself in. Um. Let's move Goose Sense in just a bit, tiny little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna move? Are they gonna stay there? They're staying put. Man, that is a lot of hell to deal with. So one thing we can do is we could open up with the Shredder Gun. Six to nine damage. Right, right here. We hit all three of them. That's one option. Another option is the incendiary bomb. Eight to nine damage. And two of them are going to be burning. I don't think this guy burns. But I, I think the incendiary bomb makes more sense. Just because it does potentially more damage. Now, Socrates is going to stay there. And then we're going to have everyone else be ready to move and answer... And throw everything we've got at these guys. Right this turn. So if I'm going to do that, since these are some really tough enemies, I think I'm going to start it up with a kill zone. I think a kill zone in this case, get like three free shots over this whole area. Well, potentially three free shots. With the AP ammo, we could potentially kill that thing. Yeah, that thing's gonna be annoying to deal with. Freaking Andromedons. Okay, let's kill zone this area. And let's start it up with a fire explosive. There we go. Uh, it's a similar map to the first time we saw the Codex, indeed. It's not the exact same map because the maps are all kind of randomized. Yep. Okay, you guys want to move now? Yeah. Okay. They all—they're all moving. All right. Three shots. Come on. One. Five damage. Oh, he dodged. Come on. More shots. Two. Oh man, they're dodging all my shots. And the Andromedon didn't get shot at. Right. Not the best, not the best. Okay, we need to deal with that Andromedon. Annoyingly. He's kind of our priority. Then there's these two, but they are on fire, so I don't think they can... They can shoot their, um... Their missiles while they're on fire. I'm not sure, but... Let's bring MC Gamer Dude a bit forward. Moving. It's a bit scary, huh? We can launch the acid bomb. Oh, I don't know if the acid bomb destroys cover. Let's long let's launch the rocket and make sure we destroy this guy's cover. Launching! And shred him some more. Yeah, you're probably angry. I assume you'd be very angry. Then we can move Socrates to right here and double shotgun this guy. Just to be sure he dies. We we'll also have another incendiary bomb on Socrates, that's true. But... Right here... We've got 100% with 116% crit. Let's take it. Come on, Socrates. Nice, okay. That thing is dead, but it comes back to life because it's an Andromedon. And Andromedons are super annoying. We also have the Zero with more Overwatches going on right now. Which we have to remember. Oh, we don't have to remember, but we can remember. Alright, Baby J, how's that combat protocol looking? How's the haywire protocol looking? Activate haywire. Could we potentially disable that thing? And deal with it next turn. Access 
I think I'm gonna disable. The Andromedon is this thing, uh, Jack Nash. The thing that killed you was an Andromedon. Let's begin. Let's, let's, let's disable that. Let's not risk it. Okay, that thing is disabled. We're good to go. So it's disabled for next turn, basically. And now we have these two guys to deal with. Um, Marceline is a bit in a bad position. She can't get shots on any of these guys without staying out in the open. And we don't really want to stay out in the open right now. Um, I think I'm going to mimic Beacon. I know one of them's disabled, but there's two of them still alive, and these guys have missiles and stuff, and missiles and stuff can really hurt, so we're gonna take it super safe, or she can soul fire one of them. That's not guaranteed, that, that guy is on fire, so if we soul fire, he's guaranteed to die, and then there's only one left. Or we can Mimic Beacon and deal with all these guys next turn. I think I'm gonna Mimic Beacon. I think I'm gonna Mimic Beacon. I am scared of these guys. They have tons of rockets. Let's Mimic. Let's Mimic. It's safer. Then we can deal with the rest of them next turn. And we can all be happy. Oh, that almost killed him. Yeah, okay. All right, these guys are burning nice and good. Are they going to move? If they move, the Zero is going to have more Overwatch shots on them. This thing is disabled. He's moving. Okay, does Zero Overwatch. And dead. Very good. Is the next one going to move? What are you going to do? You're moving, all right. That's the power of the kill zone, baby. Oh no, that is not the power of the kill zone. Oh. What, but there's a mimic beacon. There's a... I need medical attention, no! There's a mimic beacon. On dirait qu'ils ont appelé leur copain. Oh, and they're bringing reinforcements. Why did it ignore the mimic beacon? God damn it. Wow, MC Gamer dude, you took a big hit. That was a nasty hit. Okay, um. Okay, uh, Marceline. This guy is dead. Because he's on fire, but I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to soul fire him. If he, if he, like, shaves off the burning condition next turn, or anything, we don't want to risk that. Okay. He's dead. We got 92% here with Socrats. Socrats just entirely blew him up. But we don't have anyone else who is concealed. That was a nasty pod. That was a really, really hard pod to deal with, to be honest. And they have, they have reinforcement coming. I would love to get this. We can't really afford to move forward. Wow. Uh, we can bring Baby J a little bit in and heal. Uh, I'm going. Because, uh, MC Gamer Don't Dude is not in a right. good position. Woo. Uh, we have four turns until transfer. If we move to here, we might spot the thing with goo sense can we not we can't see it from here 
That is unfortunate. Okay, well. Alright. Alright then. Moving to we want to have a lot of overwatches. Uh, the zero is completely out of ammo. Wow. Okay. We have reinforcement incoming. We're not gonna have a lot of overwatches. We're gonna have uh, like three overwatches here. But uh, that's gonna have to do. Or two overwatches, actually. Oh, man. Alright, oh man. Alright, that's not uh that's not the easiest pod to deal with. They jumped in the fire. Alright, advent. Watch the flight, they're moving! Nice shot, two cents. Uh, less good shot, MC gamer dude. These guys have a lot of health. Three turns. Mission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. Okay. Okay. A hundred percent. We can't kill it with the dead eye. We're gonna attempt to. We're gonna turn on cereal. Things are super cereal, guys. Turn on cereal. Turn on dead eye. On, on the the heavy mech. Eighty-one percent. Come on, the zero. Critical. Overwatch removed. Indeed. Yeah, I've seen that. Okay, the zero. Keep that cereal going. We're running out of time. Seventy-seven percent. Ah, it's a miss. Okay. Not good. Right. Who's got explosives? Goose Ants got explosive. We can incendiary grenade these two guys. And we can even hit the beacon with it. That's a pretty good deal. For extra damage on the beacon. Destroy all their cover. And set them on fire. Incendiary grenade, Goose Ants. Ah, that's a beautiful grenade. Oh. oh, I thought that would blow out their cover. Huh. Oh well. No big deal. Promotion earned. Uh. Really? 57%? Even though you're flanking him? I mean, you're not really flanking him, even though it says he's flanking. Oh, he's out in the open. But 57%? Well. I'd like to pick this stuff up. Baby J get it next turn? Baby J could get it next turn. What's over Baby there? J to here. Make sure we're not gonna trigger anything. Okay. Right, let's let's try to kill it with MC Gamer Dune. Hey, hey MC Gamer Dune! Uh, you don't care that it was just 57%. And that makes me quite happy. Enemy eliminated. Enemy eliminated. Three, Three turns left. Fast. Baby J. There's another group. There's three more enemies on this map right now. Baby J, I would like you to pick this thing up. All right, I'll go. And not spot anything. Good. What you got? Illyrium core, advanced repeater. Very good. I've got it. Okay. Now... We need to shoot at that thing. And it's hard to see. Maybe we'll have a, a shot from here? Can you try it, Socrats? Uh, yeah, boy. You have a shot? No shot. Um... Marceline? Maybe from over here? I don't think you'll have a shot from there. 
All right, well, we can always kill it next oh, turn. We have three turns left. Hit. Oh, look at this guy. Run! <laughs> Run! On top of the thing. Okay. Um, Je confirme. Let's move in a bit closer. Objectif en vue. There we go. Now we can see it. So next turn, that thing is going to be dead. Socrates can reload. Estoy preparado. Okay, Marceline, destroy that thing, so we don't have to stress out about it. All right. Okay, we've gotten our main objective. Did you guys see that? There was a little destruction of the relay. The graffiti. Transmission is down. Let me see if I can see it. Remaining hostiles and move to evac. It was like a, a little. See right there. I don't know if you can see it on the corner of that generator next to Goose Ends. There's a little alien face in a in an X uh, circle graffiti. That's that's a cute little touch. A little graffiti of the resistance. Uh, that's that makes me happy. Okay, so let's regroup My around Lord. here. We don't want to trigger anything this turn because we're not we're not in a position really to handle it too much. So let's just reload, overwatch, this. regroup. Affirmative, covering now. Yep. Just reload and regroup. We're no longer under the constraint of time. And we're gonna have to deal. There's one more pod somewhere on this map. We don't know where they are and we don't really have any way to conceal to find out where they are. They could be really far behind this building, to be honest, right now. Okay. All right, Baby J, take a peek around this corner. I hope it's worth it. Nothing. I mean, I we can, can try to hack right now, since the consequence is not the consequence. Is it that they're going to be alerted to our position? We kind of want them to be alerted to our position, to be honest. Oh, enemy reinforcement being called down. No. But we can give Baby J better eyes. It's 100%. Here, Baby J, do you want to see further? Might as well. Did you see anything? Anything interesting on that video feed? Hack the planet. Hack the planet, says Baby J. Okay, no, nothing. Nothing interesting. Alright, then let's move forward into the really nice cover position. Me muevo a la posición. Ordre bien reçu, j'y vais. Right here. Y'a quoi par là? There we go. Nice and easy. And I think at this point, uh, do I bring in the zero or do I leave the zero back there? I think I'm gonna bring in the zero at this point because it becomes a bit. If they if they're coming from like over there, this is becoming a liability. So the zero, make your way towards the rest. The zero is a bit antisocial, likes to stay alone in the in the dark in high places. But um, let's get regrouped a little bit. And there we go. Oh, here's the gatekeeper. Oh, nice shot. Oh, only two damage. Wow. Yeah. Are they going to move into us? No, they're just going to stand there out in the open. Because they hate me? I don't know. Marceline can open this up with a nice void rift. There's three of them there, though. I don't know where the other one is, but we can definitely void rift these guys. That's a good start. That's gonna bypass that armor. 
There we go. Four damage on all of them. Pretty good deal. And we can try to panic or insanity some of them. Burn down the oh other building God. just for fun? I'd much rather use those grenades on actual enemies. Jack Notch. Yeah, these guys are going to be hard to... Uh, oh, that, that Codex okay, is going to yeah. clone. So annoying. So, so annoying. Oh, uh, double clone. Alright, super annoying. And we can't flank. I mean, I guess we can try to sword. 100% sword, that, that may be what we do here. But we still have the big one to deal with. Acid. We're gonna need to move in a little bit closer here. It's scary to do, but we're gonna have to do this. Let's move in closer with MC oh, Gamer no. Dude. Do we see? Okay. Let's start with some acid over here. That might kill these two codexes. That would be quite a good result. Yeah, we're near the end of the mission, but do you see what I'm still fighting against? They've been destroyed. The aliens haven't gotten the memo that we're near the end of the mission. They still want to really kill us. The Zero, do you have a shot? 58, that is such a poor shot. <sighs> Let's try it. Um, you can grapple somewhere. That would not help us. Okay. Let's let's attempt that 58% shot. Come on, the zero. That would be really useful. Ah, that's a miss. That was a lot to ask. Okay. Yeah, that thing is number one priority to kill. We can survive with the other guys alive at the end of the turn, not with that thing alive at the end of the turn. We can get a guaranteed hit from um, Goose Sense. What's going on? Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, Goose Sense, if you move here. We can guarantee a hit with a hail of bullets. That thing has a lot of health. It's completely shredded. How much health does it still have? Baby J, I think you're gonna have to do a guaranteed hit as well. My... Oh my, that is not a good position for Baby J. We're gonna be flanked by that codex. But I don't have a choice. Is that the only position? That's literally the only position Baby J's gonna have a shot on that thing. And we need that guaranteed hit to kill it. Crap. Combat protocol? No. How many hit points does it have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's one hit point away from the combat protocol range. That is not good. We're gonna have to save. I'm sorry, baby J's probably. You're probably gonna take a shot from the flank. What's over there? I don't have a choice here. Seven to nine. Nine damage. All right, it's dead. Happy now. I am happy. I'm sorry, Baby J. Yeah, I may have put you in a really bad position. And Socrates is gonna go slash that thing 100%. Hit point is 
There we go. Dead. Okay. We still have one codex on the loose, though, and we're gonna take an attack from it. It's teleporting. Oh, crap. It's flanking, baby J. Okay, good. It used one of its abilities instead. That's actually good news. And its cover just got exploded. So, here, why don't we just soul fire it? <laughs> wow! Marceline, that's some nasty shit to say. <laughs> All right, there we go. No, no, see, I that, that, nothing bad happened, Baby J. It's fine. It's fine. Completely fine. Excellent. Completely fine. It was all calculated. I, I mean, because we were all grouped together, it was very likely that it would use its a weapon disabling ability. So that's why I took that risk. And even if, it, if she shot you, it wouldn't have killed you. You have too much health for that. But, you know. I, I, I was pretty much expecting that it would do that. I didn't just put you out in the open light, but it was, it, it was imperative that we kill that gatekeeper. Because the gatekeeper would have done 7 damage to everyone and probably destroy our cover. In which case, then the Lancer can kill someone. So... It was a calculated risk, and it paid off. <laughs> that shiny blue, that that blue color on the on the warden armor looks amazing. It's like that metallic blue, like that. Holy crap, does it look good on Baby J there? It's just so shiny. You just want to go touch him. You want to be like. Baby J, what's your armor made out of? I bet Baby J spends a lot of time polishing his armor, making sure it's super shiny. And then, then you know, there's an explosion right next to him, and it gets scoffed, and he's like, God damn it, now I have to go freaking shine my armor again. Commander! <laughs> oh, you have flames on the, on the shins here. My god, the detailing. All right. I love Baby J's armor. It looks awesome. Okay, let's get back to base. That was pretty successful. <laughs> Executed to the highest end. All right, uh, MC Gamer Dude did get wounded though. That was expected, sadly. And for quite uh, ten days. Oh, he's sh well, she's shaken. Right. Let's give you Shredder. I love Shredder. Shredder is really useful. Ah, uh, shaken, huh? Well, we'll take care of that. And Goose Sense, our first freaking Colonel Grenadier, finally! Shut... Erupted Shot deals critical damage and ensure that the target takes an additional 3 damage from all attack in the future. Very good against a single target, or... Saturation Fire. Destroy the, comer, the cover and... Oh man, Saturation Fire is way better. Yeah, six saturation fire. There we go. It's like a shredder gun for free. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. We got Codex Brain, Illyrium Core, Advanced Repeater, a ton of buddies. Very good. Considering the limited and a new engineer available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Good. And MC Gamer Dude is shaken. We'll deal with that. So we we still have someone in the med bay right now. So that's why it's only 10 days. It would not really be 20 days. Yeah, that was a pretty nasty hit we took there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So we have a new engineer and we can put him on power or right now I think putting him on Finishing those resistance comms early would probably help us because we're going to need those before we can make any more contact. And then we can leave her in there and get even more contacts. We don't have any supplies. Our intel is super low. We have raid suit in two days. We have some some training for our, for our Psy soldiers here. 
We need to upgrade that shadow chamber. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, they did say Jack Notch. Basically, uh, reward Avenger power. Wow. That's a good reward. Uh, they said, um, basically, he worked, um, he worked with the government. He worked with Advent for a while. He sort of worked with Advent, and he was leaking information to the Resistance, and then, and then he quit. So, uh, that's, that's what, that's what he did. Uh, that's a really good reward, though. I think we're gonna go do that right now. Plotting new course. Where, what? Where are we going? Ah! <laughs> the UFO is there. Okay. Okay, we took a... Definitely not the route I would have taken, but let's go get um, let's get some uh, extra power for free. I mean, that's huge. I don't know how much power it is, but free power is pretty huge. The outcome of this okay, gatekeeper autopsy. What did we get from that? Commander. I have come to suspect alien psyamp unusual appearance. Is somehow directly connected to its notable psionic aptitude. The aliens always have some reasoning to their actions, even as twisted as it is often revealed to be. That is good. We want those. How much does that cost? I'm pleased with the research advances we've made so far, but there's still so much. Two hundred supplies. Learn about wow. Aliens motivation. Hey, it's quite expensive, and we have this nothing time. else to research right now. So we're gonna go in the shadow chamber, and we're gonna start uh, the encrypted codex data. Yep. Because we have nothing else to, to research right now. We're approaching the end of the game, it would seem. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we can't build Radio Tower Jack Josh. We have no supplies. We have nothing right now. I spent everything. I went on the spending spree. But look how, how, how nice our armor looks and how cool our weapons are. All right, let's get that um, that free power. Four days. Great suit. Okay, I want to go see what that does. If we take a soldier at random, let's say Socrates, and we put him in a raid suit, what does that do? So this is his normal thing. This is the Warden armor, plus six, plus one. So. Plus two mobility and plus and 25% dodge for one armor. Not bad. Oh, look at how shiny it is. The rate provides a range of movement that technically violates the laws of physics. There's also a grappling hook for good measure. Wait, you can turn invisible with it and there's a grappling hook? No, wait, you can pass through walls and obstacle? What the hell? That's crazy! That's crazy armor, guys! We need armor! We need more of these! We need we need to get like a whole freaking soldier in that raid suit. Oh my god! Idle staff in the laboratory. Yeah, I know. We have nothing to research right now. Okay, well, let's keep doing this. Uh, Soul Moose as Inspire. Okay, what else could we we train you with? Insanity, Fortress, Null Lance. Terrible power. Well, of course I'm going to take the thing that has terrible power. Like, that sounds silly of not taking it. Alright, Soul Moose. Very good. Alright, let's go back out there. More days, one day, zero day. Three free power, that's pretty big. That's a lot of free power, to be honest. We can do a lot of things with three power. All right, we have alien alloys, we don't really care about those. Uh, right now, all we really want is things like supplies and intel, really. But I think, I think we're all set to go on this black side mission. Do I want to wait two days to get the war suit?
Let's wait, um... Yeah, and we're out of time. Uh, let, let's, let's wait two days. Let's go gain some intel. Setting course and with, let's South wait two Africa. days to get the raid suit before we go and attack this thing. I want us to have as much of everything as we can. And in fact, we should go through the, um, the black market and sell... Oh, what happened? Oh, it's just the Avatar project taking over. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress That's on fine. the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need Yeah, we're going to have a retaliation fast. strike really soon, huh? How soon? One week. That UFO is still hunting us down. All right, let's get uh let's let's wait until we have the uh the purple man and the war suit. Oh, there's the UFO. Okay. We don't want to do one more of these missions. New Proving Ground Project. Experimental Powered Weapon. Okay. Um. Let's, let's leave this area. I don't really want to have to deal with this thing. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Um, alright, we want to sell a lot of things. Sell those Archon corpses. We're going to keep the Illyrium cores. Sell the Advent Trooper corpses. It's a fire sale, guy. guys. We're, we're, just, we're just selling everything. We're going to keep two of them, just in case. It doesn't usually cost more than two of anything. Fire sale, everything must go. My God, we have so much stuff. We're gonna keep the gatekeeper shells. All right, I'm selling five hundred dollars worth of stuff, and let's just make it a nice round five hundred for a good measure. Five hundred and one. There we go. All right, so let's go get our squad all equipped, nice and nice and dandy here. Let's get that psi amps. Anything else we wanted to get? Now <laughs> that I've... <laughs> I've sold so many supplies. Um, right. Um, I don't know what else I wanted. Why did I sell so much stuff? <laughs> uh, build the, the towers. Oh yeah, I see, I see what you mean. Um, yeah, but we don't want to move in to build the towers just yet. We probably can go and upgrade this for 200 supplies. Shadow chamber upgraded. And then we'll be able to research that that gate next, that gateway thing. And so we still have 100 supplies. Oh, I know what we could get. We could get some guerrilla tactics school. Lightning strike, vengeance. I would like to get integrated warfare. Stay with me. Dead shot. I think I'm gonna get the oh which one? I mean sharpshooter 10% critical hit. Three damage against flank enemies, which is almost always with our rangers. Crit critical damage on explosives though. I think we're gonna go for critical damage on explosive. We use explosives so much, getting critical damage every now and then is gonna make such a big difference. So let's let's do this. And we are completely out of money again. Yay! Um <laughs> Oh that, that that's alright. 
Uh, unused Illyrium. Oh, we don't have a project in the, the proving ground. Oh, crap. Experimental power weapon. We definitely want to get those. We definitely wanted to get... Oh no, we need more supplies! Okay, well... You know what? I know exactly what we need to do. We need to go back to Black Market. And we just need to sell more crap. We have so many alloys. Like... Seriously? Let's sell a hundred alloys. I'm not even kidding here. I'm selling a hundred. We do. We have two hundred alloys. We'd have nothing to spend those alloys on. Why not? Let's go. Let's let's sell a hundred alloys. Like they, they're they're giving us no good just staying in there. Whereas right now they're letting us build a not only an experimental weapon. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project. But they're also going to let us. Go in the guerrilla tactics school and go for integrated warfare. We can get hunter instinct, we can get dead shot, and we can get cool under pressure. Look at that. You know what? Like, why don't I sell more stuff and get all of these? Let's check out what the, the war suit does. Let's go check it out. What does the war suit the war suit do? Let's go take like goose ends, for example, and let's put him into a a war suit. We're calling oh. this heavy power armor the war suit. This is as tough and strong as we can make it, with plenty of power for handling heavy weapons. Nice, nice, nice. What does it do? Shield wall, provide high cover to squad mates wherever you stand. So if you, oh, if you stand in the middle of everything, you give high cover to people. That is such a risky thing to do. It only has two armor. Um, you have a wrist mounted weapon. Okay, so it's really an upgraded exosuit. My god, this is, uh... Okay, but that's really dangerous! Standing out in the open and going like, RAW! <laughs> you can hide behind me! But, uh, okay. That's interesting, at least. We'll, we'll want to build more of those, uh... Rate and war suits. As much as we can, to be honest. Alright, well... Look at that. Things are going really well. Uh, we're building an experimental weapon right now. Um, wait. Yes, experimental powered weapon. I was like, no, it's the wrong one. No, the heavy weapon is the, the cheaper one. And the the powered weapon is the good one. Is That's the one we're building. Takes a lot longer to build also. Okay. Got our engineers here working. Burning the midnight oil. My god. Things are going well, guys. I, I, I mean, it feels like the end is approaching. It really feels like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Let the UFO catch us for more bodies so we can sell more. <laughs> Jack Nosh, you crazy fool. <laughs> that just might work. Um, but uh, right now, I mean, there's not much else that I want. We're gonna go... We're gonna just wait for the Void Rift training. And then we're gonna move to uh, that Black Side mission. The Black Side Vial coordinate mission. And... Uh, then we're decrypting the Codex data. In one day. And then we have to do the Psionic Gate. But, uh, we, it seems, it feels, correct me if I'm wrong, I might be completely wrong because it's my first time getting this far in the game, but it feels like we're approaching the end here. 
which is both awesome and kind of sad at the same time. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, or sharing it with your friends. That helps me a lot. If you want to be part of the XCOM project, you can send me a message, leave a comment, or come chat with me live on Twitch. And it'll be my pleasure to make you part of the team. Or even if you just have any question, anything you want to chat with me about, I love chatting with you guys. If you want to see more of my video, there's a link below to my YouTube page. I do all sorts of things, little montages, other games. If you are already on YouTube and you want to see me live, there's a link in the description below to my Twitch page where we can interact and chat live if you want, if, you know, the Twitch server hold up and I don't need to restart the stream every now and then. But uh, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>